Allied is proud to welcome and share in conversation with long-standing preferred partner NFP. NFP offers solutions to Allied clients that focus on equity lending to credit unions and banks while increasing loan volume and offering protection against borrower default. Joining me today and representing NFP is Rick Hughes, Senior VP Program Division. Rick has been in the lending industry for over three decades and has directed all aspects of loan insurance, underwriting, and operations. His commitment to developing individualized solutions for lenders has led to customized programs for some of the largest credit unions in the nation. Some of you may recall Rick joined us last year for a conversation, so this is actually his second time being with us. We're thrilled to have him back. As I mentioned, NFP is a really strong partner of ours, so we're excited for another conversation. So welcome back again, Rick. Happy to see you. Thank you, Amy. It's good to be back again and uh, appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to talk about our product again as well. Yeah, of course. Our pleasure. Um, so we'll go ahead and dive right in. Rick, your product, Equity Protection, is a program focusing on equity lending, which provides lenders with opportunities to generate additional revenue, which is high on everybody's radar right now. How does the program increase their equity lending exactly? Can you tell us more about that? Really what our program does is it is allows them to expand their product guidelines. And typically where it enables them to expand it the most is most lenders will stop at an 80% combined loan to value. Our program allows them to go all the way up to 100%. They don't have to go to 100%, but it enables them to go up to 100% CLTV with air protection. And they can do this on open-end equity loans. They can do it on closed-end equity loans. They can do it on purchase money second loans. And they also can do it on secured home improvement loans. So there's a lot of options there and going with the ability to jump up 20%. I mean, that's that's a huge jump um, based on previous limitations. So a lot of options there for your lenders. Exactly. And, in, you know, and over the, over the last four years, I mean, there's been some tightening of guidelines that we'll talk about later probably, but uh, mm -hmm. we can enable them to expand those guidelines a little bit. For example, some lenders are now stopping their FICO scores at 680. Well, if you know, we can allow them to go to 675 or would even go down to 660. So we can expand that a little bit as well. And then obviously mm -hmm. they're still protected by our product. Okay. Wonderful. And yeah, we'll we'll get more into the specifics in a few minutes. But you mentioned increasing lending, but aren't there financial institutions who are tightening up their lending right now because of what they perceive as being risky conditions or a risky environment that we're in? Yes, that's exactly right. Many lenders have sort of taken a wait and see attitude. Uh, and it's mm -hmm. it's been that way really since uh, the pandemic started. Uh, and it's sort of continued that way and in, in, on the equity side. Um, you know, lenders has been thinking more about protecting themselves. They've been focused a lot on their deposit growth, which that's understandable. Um, but right now, uh, with the subsiding of the uh, refinance market, when the rates went up, you know, this has really turned into an equity market. Uh, the last year has been an equity market. This year has been. And then what I'm hearing is for probably the next two years is going to be an equity market. So it's a real opportunity right now when they have a lot of their borrowers out there that really would like to access that equity because there's, there is actually record amounts of equity in, in borrower's property right now. And so if they're not able to offer that to their borrowers, then what's going to probably happen is those borrowers are going to find that, that uh, product somewhere else. So they stand mm -hmm. to lose customers if they, if they don't really look at uh, it's sort of expanding what they're doing but do it in a safe manner. So the opportunities there, they just have to take advantage of it through the proper tools and partnerships. So would you agree then that proper risk management controls and methods are extremely critical right now in our current environment? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, it, you know, there's there's risk in every industry, and in, in, in the lending industry, we know there's always that risk of loan defaults. Uh, you know, and then they have compliance issues that that lenders have to deal with they have their liquidity status that's also important to them their balance sheet obviously is important to them uh, so uh, it, it's really critical that they have some type of risk mitigation uh, method uh, in place that will transfer that risk and then avoid a negative impact on their bottom line and then that's where our program comes in uh, you know we customize our program to each lender's needs so that we can safely increase their lending portfolios in an 
our case, they're not required to foreclose in the event of claim, so they can eliminate any additional cost that's associated with delinquencies and know that they're actually working toward positive loan growth at the same time they're protecting their lending institution. Okay, so implementing a program such as this, this risk management program, it seems like there could potentially be a lot involved, that it's just one more thing for an organization to have to undertake. And as we know, so many organizations, they're spread thin right now. There's people in departments wearing a lot of different hats and trying to navigate um, this current landscape that we're all living in. So if if you did want to implement a process such as this, what is involved? Is there a, is it simple? Um, do you have to um, onboard a whole new team to handle this? What does that look like? That's one of the things that's actually really beautiful about this product, and that is that there is really no heavy IT lift. There's no system integration. There's nothing of that nature. You just simply have to find some place in your system that you can insert a code that would indicate that this loan is insured so that you can send a monthly report each month. And then obviously when one of the loan goes to Linkwood and it becomes claimed, then you, you're, you'll know that it's an insured loan. So it's, it's really that easy to implement. Once you've worked to develop a customized program and underwriting guidelines with us, we're gonna provide you the training around the reporting, the claims process, the underwriting. You know, we will take care of all of that. We're obviously available at any point in time when they want to call us. And then quite honestly, we have lenders that actually have this program up and running within days. Uh, and within weeks, they're originating loans. And some of them within 30 days, they're already sending a report. They've already closed the loan that they've originated. So it's that easy. Um, I've been in this product line for 34 years. We've worked for 34 years to make it that easy. So we purposely have worked that worked that hard to try to get it to the point where it's not a heavy lift for the lender because we realize they have a lot to do. They have a lot of other projects. Right. You know, they have a lot going on. And so we try to make this something that can add value and do it in a quick and easy manner. Yeah, I mean, that's incredible. It if it's if it's as simple as finding the time to enter a code, I, I think we can agree that that we can all find that much time. And then if you're realizing ROI potentially within 30 days, I mean it's absolutely worth um, investing and finding that minimal amount of time to get the program up and running. I'm sure that's music to everybody's ears, um, the <laughs> simplicity of the onboarding process. Um, so do you mind, Rick, do you mind recapping um, for our watchers and listeners, do you mind recapping the benefits of the equity protection program? Really what our program does is it expands your lending, which obviously is going to increase your revenue. You're able to transfer the risk which is going to eliminate your defaults and your claims and your foreclosures and things of that nature that you typically would have to deal with. It's going to eliminate all of that. And best of all, there's really no cost to the lender because the premium is built into the interest rate. So in essence, the bar is actually paying the premium. So it's a cost-free program that can increase your revenue and it could even provide you some relief on your, your balance sheets as it relates to reserves. You know, we have lenders that actually don't reserve at all for this product. We have lenders that reserve only a portion of what they normally would reserve for this product. So there, and again, is, is some additional revenue that can be put back on your bottom line. Yeah, absolutely. And let's not forget, too, driving home the point of the um, extraordinarily easy onboarding process, because I think that that's a, um, you know, that's a sticky point for a lot of organizations that if it's if they get too bogged down in onboarding um, or, you know, just the long game, you know, trying to, to play to the long game. But but here you really don't have to. It's very, very simple. And the ROI is realized um, very quickly, as you mentioned, um, could be as quick 30 days that you've seen in some cases. So that's a exactly. big benefit as well. Yeah, great. Absolutely. Rick, this has been a wonderfully informative conversation. Again, we've loved having you back. Hope you'll come back again. So thank you for sharing more about NFP and how it helps generate revenue while also protecting lenders from risk. Thank you, Amy. We appreciate the opportunity to be able to talk about our product and we look forward to coming back again. Yeah, we'd love it. If a credit union or bank would like to learn more about NFP's equity protection program, reach out to your Allied Solutions rep.